Hello. Yes, that's right. Nigel Farage for Prime Minister. Well, that's the only way, Mr Farage, Brexit's ever going to be delivered. Trust me. Theresa May sold us out like I predicted. Boris Johnson's selling us out now as I predicted. And Brexit will not be delivered. The only way Brexit has been delivered, Mr Farage, is if you're in number 10. Or someone of equal standing. That's a patriot that loves his country. You see, the past 50 plus years, we haven't been led by patriots, have we? No. Because if patriots were really at the helm of this country, Harold Wilson, Jim Callaghan, Margaret Thatcher, John Major, William Haig, and many, many others, the country wouldn't be in the mess it's in now, would it? No. We'd have pulled out of the common market when we could see it wasn't working. We would have protected our manufacturing industry and got rid of Thatcher when she destroyed it. We'd have stopped all immigration coming into Britain, except from the white Commonwealth, when they chopped PC Blakelock's head off and tried to put it on a pole like something in the darkest Congo, right? We would have stopped it, wouldn't we, right? And these spineless, self-hating jellyfish wouldn't have happily inherited all the bad uh, stuff the predecessors had handed them and just carried on as normal if they were patriots, would they? Well, no. So how can you expect these clowns to deliver something that they're not capable of doing because they're all signed up to the globalist agenda they're in the globalist club and they should be known a lot of them hate this country right so-called patriotic ones as well like Theresa May she's a liberal to the core right she doesn't represent anything of previous conservative leaders let's say Winston Churchill as an example she's a million miles away though he's not one of my favorites either but anyway so how can Brexit be delivered by treacherous jellyfish that have inherited all what the predecessors have handed them in destroying this country, right? The predecessors destroyed this country, then they handed it to the next lot who happily took it on board and happily passed the baton to the next lot and so on and so on. Do you see what's happened here, right? We wouldn't be in this mess if patriots were running the show, would we? Well, of course. So that's why, Mr Farage, got to roll up your sleeves, rip up the rule book, spit in the eye, and get ready for a dirty fight ahead because that's what it's going to take to win. We've got to get these fuckers out and into the Thames, right? Minus any life jackets, right? The whole lot of them, and even the back benches. Past and present, they've all remained silent, haven't they? Right? None of them have stepped forward and said, right, this is a scandal, this is a disgrace. They've all just buckled under and went along with it, haven't they? Right? There may be one or two, maybe I'll be a bit unfair there, but by and large, they haven't. Because the next lot keeps inheriting all what the other lots have done. They kick the can so far ahead, they're out of office, the next lot's got it. Then they kick it so far ahead, so... Given you're dealing with people, right, like that, how can you expect Brexit to be delivered? The only way it's getting delivered, Mr Farage, if you deliver it. And on a final note, which is sad, where British nationalism still up and running, we could have been in the background here, helping with leaflets, helping the Brexit party, pushing the pro-Brexit line, pro-Britain line, patriotic line, but sadly Nick Griffin handed it to hope not hate and the rest is history. So we're relying on you, Mr Farage, right? You've got to roll up your sleeves, rip up the rule book, spit in that eye, and you've got to get stuck in there and get ready for the dirty fight ahead. And we're all behind you. Okay, thank you.